On this episode of In the Kitchen, we're getting wasted. Actually, we're on location at Janitor's Closet, one of the city's best new bars. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So today, we've crafted uh, Red Line Punch. The version that's the inspiration for this is a uh, something that I enjoy with my family during the holidays. A drink that we enjoy in Jamaica called Sorrow. Perfect for any of your holiday parties, or if you're me, a random Tuesday night. Let's make some punch. Let's deep. So we're gonna add uh, sorrow leaves here, or hibiscus leaves. That's where the red comes from, for the red line. Punch. Indeed. I'm gonna add some of this uh, here, cinnamon, allspice berries, healthy portion. A couple of these here, lime leaves, allspice leaf. I'm gonna quarter this, lime, some ginger, water to steep. Are there any other ingredients people could add if they're like feeling like they want to make it a little bit more their own or something? Uh, for sure. You can add green apples, uh, the core and skins of a pineapple, and I think all of those would work really well. So you'd have to make this punch like a few times. Once like this, once with a pineapple. Portion it, add a little bit to separate portions and see which one you like more. I think four full. <laughs> you're you're, you're yeah. going for the quantity, yeah. Yeah. then the quality. So this is going to steep for this how long? Is, this will steep, let this steep for a couple hours. Or you can also uh, steep it overnight. Been 24 hours. <laughs> We've been hanging out in the bar for 24 hours. 24 hours, same clothes. Now what? So we're going to fine strain over ice. Ooh, oh, I love the color. It looks awesome. And if you didn't have one of these at home, what else could you use? A regular strainer would be fine. More ginger, because there's never enough. So it's going to be a little spicy from all the ginger? Just a little. Add some warmth. Healthy. More digestion. <laughs> We're going to add sugar to sweeten. This is a syrup. What's in the syrup? So syrup is just a two to one syrup. 16 ounces of sugar. You would use eight ounces of hot water. A smidge more sugar. What sweetness level are you looking for? Similar to what guests ask me all the time at the bar. Not too sweet. Now we're gonna add our holiday fireworks. Woo! An ounce of allspice dram. Allspice gin? Dram. Oh, dram. So it's uh, a liqueur made with uh, allspice. Just to boost the uh, allspice flavor and add a little bit of booze with it. Ming River Baijiu, Chinese spirit. This particular Baijiu is from Sichuan. So this is gonna have like a funky kind of pineapple-y taste and aroma. You can probably smell it already. Yeah. We had four ounces of that. And the lead singer in this band is gonna be uh, Jamaican Overproof White Rum. Mm. And this is uh, what we would traditionally put into it. Eyeball it. Yeah. I like it. We're not measuring that Happy one. Happy holidays. <laughs> So if you live in, let's say, a smaller town where you can't find the Chinese liqueur or the allspice dram? I would just go rum then. All rum. All rum. Rum and bourbon is a great combination. Oh. Rum and brandy, also a great combination. I love the color in this. It's so good. Cheers. Salud. <laughs> I can drink this all holiday season. Indeed. Greater than the sum of its parts. <laughs> I love the ginger. Super warming. Yeah, the cinnamon, the allspice, we get that baking spice, like you yeah. were saying, that warming feeling that you want in a holiday punch. Definitely. Is it something that I could just keep in my fridge? Absolutely. Some people keep theirs for years, so I'll go back to Jamaica and have sorrow from like a season or two ago. Oh, wow. People just let like sit and continue to age. This isn't a face they can take a punch, but it can drink some. <laughs>